Welcome to Africa Kitchen. Today, we have back in the studio with us Madam Constant Bakken, for, uh, generally known as Mama Africa. She, today, she'll be preparing fish and plantain, uh, a type of food that everybody basically eats. Um, you can eat it for breakfast, you can eat it for lunch or dinner, whichever your desire is. Madam Constant Bakken, you are welcome back to Africa Kitchen. Thank you very much. I'm glad to be here for the second time around. And um, the first one was a, a success. And um, I like what I'm seeing. Today, I'm going to prepare fish to show you how you fried fish. Because not everyone knows how to fry fish. This particular fish is a special fish called snapper. That's one of the best fish in the market today. You go to any market, you ask for snapper, they sell it so high because it's one of the best fish in the market. Mama Africa, um, fish in general is good for your health, it correct? Is, it is. Um, it has protein, vitamin K. In fact, Everyone is encouraged to eat fish. Yes. And that is why you chose to cook fish, fish today. today. Yes. Because fish, it comes into so many ways. Because right now, they're telling you that you have to eat, you have to drink fish, fish oil. Tablet. Oh, really? From, yes, the tablet from fish. And um, when you, you take the fish tablet, it did something in your body that gives you all the nutrients that you need. So they allowing everyone, asking everyone if you can take fish oil. This is it. So you instead take of taking, oil. you can eat fresh fish instead of buying the pill. Buying the pill. Or this if you pill. don't want the fish, you can do the pill. Okay. You know. So, what so show us how you are going to prepare this. Okay. Um, this is already sautéed. When I'm doing fish, I sautéed my fish for a day before frying it. When you say sautéed, what do you, what do you do with that? I, what exactly do you do? Okay. In preparing the fish, you have to clean it with lime and salt. Why you would you clean it with lime and salt? To take all the excess, you know, Excess, I, I don't know how you call it. So, um, to clean up the skin, to basically. To clean up the skin, yeah. Okay. okay, so after that, I use different type of seasoning. Actually, you can use fish seasoning. Okay. But what I do, I have like two or three different type of seasoning and mix them together. Before so, I saute, this is part of it. So what, this, here we have three, We have, we have, this is, three we have, different kind of seasoning. Yes. Could you, you have, tell us? You have the fish, the, the, the fish seasoning, you have a season, and you have the seasoned salt. That is all in moderate form. And when you, you just put a little layer like that. That gives you all the, the taste that you want. So let's say for, like, for a serving of, the say, five, two people, you, what is the teaspoon? Is it a teaspoon or a spoon of the seasoning? It's just a teaspoon. A you teaspoon. Just, yes, you, you mix it. And you, you just stir it all over the place. Okay. Yeah, for you to. Get and the after taste. you stir, what else happens? Well, I leave it for a day. Yes, it stays in the season. That's what 
make the difference of the fish. The taste is different. Because when you saute your, chick, your fish, you leave it for a day. It gives you a different taste for when you want to fry it. So you saute it yeah. and you store it for a day in the fridge? In the fridge. In the fridge. Yes. Okay. You cover it and leave it in the fridge. So um, when I, you're ready to fry it, I use mm -hmm. olive oil. And um, I don't have my measurements to measure the oil. But um, I could measure it with my eyes. Now, Mama Africa. Yeah. Last time you were cooking, again, we, we were showing the audience how you can eat healthy with whatever you have available. Yes. Again, you're yes. using olive oil again today. Yes. Now, why are you using olive oil? To save um, people from having heavy cholesterol because um, the ordinary oil, like vegetable oil, give you a lot of cholesterol. With um, olive oil, it kind of moderate. And um, it's the right oil to use to cook. But this does not have any fat in it. That is very important yeah. because, again, I, I cannot emphasize this enough um, of using the right oil to cook. Um, especially Africans tend to put a lot of saturated oil in what they eat. And I, again, uh, Mama Africa, I really thank you for promoting it, the, the eating idea of healthy. eating healthy and changing different things that you eat and still get the same taste. Thank you very much. Now, in order for you to, I'm going to tell you about the oil that I'm using. In order for you to fry your fish, you have to know that the oil is ready to accept the fish. So what do I do? I put a piece of onion in the oil, the pot. So with this, it will tell you that the oil is ready so when it burns. Depending on the color, you the, would know? Yes. Oh, I see. Well, um, please stay with us on Afri Kitchen while we come back and we'll check how the onion is doing in the oil. Afrik Express, a new African talk show, rebranding Africa. We're insightful, inquisitive, and intriguing. We simply bring Africa to you. Welcome back to Africa Kitchen. We're here with Mama Africa, who is preparing fish and plantain for us today. Mama Africa, before we took a break, you had just put onion inside the oil. Why did you do that? I did that because I want to know when the oil is ready for the fish to be in the oil. In order for you to know that the oil is ready, the onions will turn brown. And when the onions turn brown, then it tells you it's time to put a fish in. So that's why I put the onion in there. Okay, I noticed that the, oil, the onion is turning brown. Yes. So, but it's not quite brown. So that means that the fish is not ready. So what would it's happen? It's almost ready. Yeah. Okay, what would happen if you put the fish before the onion turns brown? The fish won't get fried. The fish will absorb the oil and then yet the blood fried. So when it comes out, it will be basically greasy. It will greasy. be greasy, yes. I see. So that's why you have to wait for the Until it's actually it's, brown. It's getting there, as you can see. Do you know I never knew that? <laughs> so that means well, I've been see, cooking. This, uh, well, some, you know, <laughs> when I fry my fish, in fact, you, if you see, you're not going to want to eat it because it's full of oil. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Okay. We're almost ready. As you can see this, we're almost ready. Okay. So yes. it's, it's 
I don't know really. You can see it is can you see? Okay. Okay, you have to take this out. It's ready now, excuse me. Okay. Now you're going to leave it, you're going to leave it like this for it to fry. So the fish is frying, the and fish, how, fish how long fried. would this stay like this? How long would you have to fry it? About 10 minutes. About 10 minutes? Yes. And then you would have to turn it over to, to get make the, sure that it, yes. the, normally, it's well cooked on both sides. Normally side what, what you want to do, you call it deep fry. You get as much oil as possible. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you put as much oil, you put it there, it's deep fry. You can deep fry the fish. You call it deep fry, but you have to have a, a deeper pot. Okay. So uh, Mama Africa, I noticed that you have other ingredients here. Yes. Um, what is this? This is plantain. This is what you're going to eat with the fish. I have to, this is, they have two types of plantain. Okay. They have the green one, they have the yellow one. The green one have a lot of iron on the green one. And these have a lot of sugar and a lot of vitamins. So this, you're using the ripe one, you're not using the green one. I'm not using the green both one. Both the green one and the ripe one both contains iron. That's right. Correct? Yes. I also see that you have uh, red pepper and green pepper and green pepper yes and, and green I pepper is also very nutritional. very nutritional and what I do is after the fish fry I have in order for you to eat it nice with the plantain I prepare a sauce with this green and red pepper Okay. And the onions. That will what type of sauce? Like almost like a stew, a stew? Almost like a stew. Okay. But not stew stew. It's like pepper. Like this uh, one. Just pepper, red and green pepper. Red peppers. and green pepper and onions. And onion. Yeah. And uh, how do you do that? You just fry it or you just steam it? No, well, you know, I have to cut this more than this. Okay. The smaller, okay. this are bigger. So it, it, it becomes soft, and then I fried it again in the oil, in the olive oil. Okay. Uh, and you would, right. you would serve that? You would serve the fish. Okay. You, you, when the fish is done, when I'm serving it, I have some this on the plate, and one of the fish on the plate and then put the sauce on it that you can eat it with. Uh, as I'm looking at the plantain, uh, you sliced it in a very peculiar way. Yes. I, I know I eat plantain, but I ne you not, know, not with this size. Yes, but this is the way you have to slice it. That sometimes people slice it um, thinner than this. But this is the best way. This is the best way to slice it. Because when you put it in the oil, it kind of shrink. And when you make it too thin, it get burnt easily. So with this, this is the right size. And you have to fry them two separate. Okay, Mama Africa. Everything we're cooking today is fried so yes, far. Yes. Can this meal be prepared baked? Yes. It can, like I always said, people do things by their choice. So you can bake it, you can fry it, you can steam it. Fish is very, it's an easy thing to cook. But plantain do. Can you bake plantain and still 
obtain the same quality yes. of fry. Well, like pla this plantain, you don't always have to fry it. You can boil it. Can be boiled. But can you bake the plantain? If you if you want, I never baked the plantain before. Uh, because I've tried baking it instead. Okay. So the, the, I, I find out that well, I, I end know, up getting the I same am, thing. I'm, so. What I'm showing you is what I do. Okay. I don't know about other people. I'm just introducing this to you right. because this is what I do. I never baked it, but I boiled it. Okay. Most time, okay. I boiled it. So you, 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 you bake the fish. When you bake the fish, I saute it the same way when I'm baking fish. And you get some of this. Well, um, Mama Africa, it looks like the fish is turning brown a little bit. And we will take a short break and we'll continue. Okay. Freak Express, a new African talk show, rebranding Africa. We're insightful, inquisitive, and intriguing. We simply bring Africa to you. Welcome back to Africa Kitchen. We have been cooking with Mama Africa, who has been preparing fish and plantain. Mama Africa, you, you have a spread of food out here. Could you show us what we just prepared i this is the plantain i was talking about that this is it that um, you have to eat the fish this is the fish as you can see we're frying over there we finish frying the fish we the fry the plantain and this is baked fish as i was saying that people who don't like fried food this is baked fish and um, this is the sauce from the pepper, as I, w I was talking about. Can I see? The, yes. So the, the, this is the, the pepper sauce, yes, correct? Yes, the pepper sauce. The pepper sauce. Yes. Uh, the, okay. So can I taste? Sure. So we can, um, We can prepare one for our guests to taste. Mm. So what do you say is inside this again? This, the green pepper, mm -hmm. red pepper, onions, that's an, and tomato. And tomato. Did you put any, any specific spice in it? No, it's the same spice that I use all the time. The, the um, seasoning, seasoned salt, the, the um, saison. You just put it there just for a little taste. Well, it doesn't have that salt. This is good. Uh, I have a surprise for you. Uh, today on our free kitchen, we have a very special guest who is from your country, Sierra Leone, uh -huh. and he will help me test this food. Welcome to Africa Express, uh, Ambassador Lee. I'm Africa. It's a pleasure to be here. Yes, sir. Nice Ambassador Lee, welcome to Africa Kitchen. Uh, this looks very, very delicious. I'm uh, going to... Where's my plate? <laughs> <laughs> this is baked. This is to your choice. You... I'm fried one here, it's me. Okay, that's the fried one, that's the baked one. That's the plantain here. Plantains. Yeah. As a young man in Africa, I used to eat this a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it gives you a lot of strength. Thank you. Yeah. Mm. And now what I do, sir, mm. we'll put then this you put the sauce on top, on top of, it. of this. Mm, mm, yes. mm, mm, this is great. Yeah. It smells good. Okay, thank you. So May you, I sure. taste? No. Yeah. Ambassador, what do you think? Yummy. <laughs> <laughs> great. You are you fish? Like, sure, I would like to taste the fish. Baked or fried? Oh, Let great. me stay with the baked. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Now, you can serve fish and plantain with 
vegetable, uh, pepper vegetable stew for breakfast, lunch, dinner, whichever one that you desire to, uh, whatever you desire to eat this type yes. of food. Yes. And again, you can also bake it or fry it. Fry it. it. Or steam it. Or steam it. Okay. Which is <laughs> Which great. Whichever way you want to. Mm. Hmm. From Africa, the plantain tasted blue. Did you also season the plantain? No, this is all natural. So this is just, f because I know that some people do season plantains. No, I don't season plantain because plantain comes with its own season. That's mm. right. That's yes, right. there is no need for you to add anything to it. Ambassador Lee, how is the fish? <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> you also need to taste the big one. So, I'll be delighted. <laughs> so you tell me the difference. Okay, uh, that's good. So you, you are watching Mama sauce? Africa. You want sauce? Yes, yeah. Cooking. Thank you. Thank you. With us today, and she prepared again fish. But let, let me ask you though, what kind of fish is this? This is snapper. Snapper. Yes. Can you prepare this meal with any type of fish? Any kind of fish you want. Oh yes, yes. So you can substitute your own, your own, what, your own type yeah, of fish. What, your own type of fish. I see. Yeah. And you, you serve it with plantain. Yes. You, you, the fish you serve it with varieties. Okay, so you can with, also uh, serve this with rice. With rice. Yes, you can eat this with rice. You can eat it with yuca. Okay. You know, like cassava. Can you yeah. also serve it with salad if you choose yes, not to? Yes, if use you choose not to or use this. Add, yeah. You can, because this is one of the nutritious meat. <laughs> A lot of people does not eat meat. Okay. So this is the fish. I'm That's the fish. I'm I'm I find the, uh, the big fish, mm -hmm. especially tender and delicate, and it's absolutely yummy. Thank, thank you, you very, very much. much. It is good. It is good. It, thank it, you. It, thank it you. is indeed uh, delicious. And uh, again, I, I encourage people to, as Mama Africa is saying, to eat more healthy. In, try to eat at least two servings of fish a week. A week. Yeah. Uh, and also the, the red pepper and green pepper, they're also very nutritious. Very nutritious. So it, try to improve whatever that you eat and add things that will keep you healthy. Uh, again, Mama Africa, we thank you so much thank for you. coming in today and showing us how to cook fish and plantain with vegetable pepper sauce, sauce. correct? That's right. And again, Ambassador Lee, thank you so much for being <laughs> on our free kitchen and helping us taste Mama Africa's latest creation. creation. <laughs> I'm blessed and I'm enjoying myself a lot. This is very delicious. Thank you. Please invite me next time. <laughs> we'll definitely do that. <laughs> Uh, thank you, thank you so we much for staying with us please on our Freak Express. Please, please, please stay with us. Uh, come again next time and see our latest creation of meal from another country. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>